Welcome everyone to Old Rural Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Mokulover, and today begins a new campaign, playing as the Navajo. Now, let's begin with a focus, shall we, the history of the people. Some say the Navajo descended from the first man and woman who built a home to the sacred and beautiful Indanta. Others claim the Navajo immigrated to the American Southwest in the 1400s. The wisest of the people know both are true, and obviously, I don't know how to pronounce that correctly, but if you do know, please let me know in the comments below. But we do begin as a puppet of the Legion, so which is kind of different. Uh, the only other time I've ever played a nation that was a puppet of someone else was when I played as Costa Cafenada under Nueva Aslan, but the Twin Heroes. The Twin Heroes, born of water and monster slayer, were born to rid the earth of the monsters who killed the people. Every Navajo knows the tale of the two. They were empowered by the sacred elements of the fourth world. Turquoise, obsidian, white shell, abalone, salt, and wind, they in the use these to the alien gods and save the world. But while some honor monster slayer for his great deeds, others remember that born of water tended the prayer's stick, sticks and kept a firm watch. Who does Chief Hakshka Nabash honor the most? And we're, of course, led by our chief here. Cool. Expert negotiator. The monster slayer or born of water. I think we'll go with, uh, actually, let's see. I don't think we have a trade note here, do we? Uh, let's see. Twin mothers, Castra. No, we do not, which is kind of disappointing. We do need some more military factories, but we could use a few more civvies as well. Let's go with born of water. Do we go? Next up, we shall go with a complicated relationship. The years before the Great War were difficult for the Navajo. Although mining and economic development brought prosperity, many in America saw the Navajo reservation as land to exploit. Oh, we actually boosted up some more. Cool. And the people's riches. American corporations pressured the Navajo to open up their lands for exploitation before the Great War. The Navajo Reservation contained stockpiles of uranium, coal, natural gas, and oil, but the Navajo saw the writing on the wall and sought to develop their own commercial wind farm. At least the mines were useful after the war. So Navajo Coal and Gas Company, pretty cool. And do we need more resources? We could really use that energy and scrap, actually. Or, the wind farms form the basis of the recovery. Less consumer goods, more factory output, and you still get civilian factories. Ooh, I like that a lot. I really do. Factories, we can always get that later on. Let's go with, let's go with resources. Let's, let's do that one. And then, the fifth world. The Great War did not spare the Navajo, but they survived in the New World where many did not. A common culture being spared the worst of the bombs that the Navajo rebelled where others fell to hunger, raiders, or even their own base instincts. The Navajo scouts repelled Arizona slavers, their goats, and Brahmin multiplied, and their silversmiths turned towards the metalwork for their own use until the Legion arrived. And man, we could really use some composite materials. Now, the friend of Rome. Kaiza initially sought to conquer the Navajo, like he had Flagstaff, Phoenix, and Tucson. Two years of bloody war convinced him that this would not succeed. The Navajo skinwalkers struck or at the camps under cover of night, causing chaos and slowing the Legion to a crawl, but the Legion ground forward, as relentless as the Arizona sun. After two years of war, Chief Hushke Nabash, about Naba, leader of the Navajo scouts, snuck into Kaiza's tent alone and unarmed. None know what he and Kaiza spoke of that night, but when the sun rose, Kaiza agreed to visit New Navajo. Some criticized the chief for his peace with the Legion, and his pledges served in the Legion's wars, but the Navajo council saw the benefits the treaty would bring. The Legion promised to protect the people from raiders, and open the Legion's markets to them. And most importantly, Kaiza promised that the Navajo access to the Colorado's water supply. In exchange for tribute to Kaiza, the Navajo's lands would become a garden. Kaiser kept his pledge, or they say the Skinwalker scared even Lucius, which I want to do that one, but let's say he kept his pledge, because for this route, we have two options. We can either do the way of the Canaanites and become very resistant towards Kaiser and try to kill him off, or we can do servants for the people, which sounds honestly extremely difficult for, you know, trying to be rebellious and stuff. Watching me kill a god seems really, really difficult. I don't know if it's possible for us to do that. I really don't know, since we can't justify on other people because we are on a puppet, but we are a puppet, but... Uh, we can technically do both first, but let's see what else we have. The reservation system. Could we use some scrap? Cool. Oh, we can go to war for the reservation. And core all their states. An honor to a new tribe. We guarantee them. And not guarantee independence with them. Ancient secrets. You get scientific infantry tech. Oh, you can get more territory and core it. Or you can get some scientific infantry tech. I like that. The three, three sisters, though. The silversmith, not bad. The wind farm, not bad. And what do we have on the far left side here? Remember when they called us tribals? We gain opinion modifier with all other Native Americans on the map and vice versa. Trade with the Utes. Talk to the sky, take to the skies like an Indian outlaw. Cool. As long as the grass shall grow. Yakuma Nation has to die. And we get that's not bad. More heart attack and then capacity multiplier, not bad. Kaiza's lessons. I like that. Infantry, not bad. I like the more attack. Cool. Basic energy weapons are nice. Division and defense of core territory. The warrior women. So 
you know what? I'll leave it up to you guys. This campaign might go really well. This might not. This campaign might become very disastrous. But I'll leave it up to you. Which way should we really try to? Should we should we try to rebel against Kaiser? I think we might try to. Just because it looks like you have you can choose actually both sides maybe. It looks like you can. Okay, just because it seems like you should have the option to either one. But maybe we can be rebellious. We'll see. I don't know. But let's just go to the Navajo Scouts. We will start with the Three Sisters. The people once subsisted on Three Sisters, corn, beans, and squash. Today, the Three Sisters are agriculture, mining, and trade. We must develop all three to stand strong and free. And unfortunately, it's a 50-day focus, which is better than 70-day, but we are currently a client state. Export negotiate test. So this is really interesting that maybe we can go down both sides. Increase the Navajo resistance. Because it does end up with the dreams of Dainta. And we cannot be a subject. So maybe we will have to be rebellious regardless. Huh. Okay. Well, I do want to make sure that we can boost ourselves up as fast as possible. And actually, you know what? Reservation. If we can take all their territory, that'd be nice. But that's a lot more territory you have to guard, which I don't like. But you do get more resources. That's not too bad. Especially if you can raise your conscription level quite a bit more. And people kill each other. Also, let you know, this is on historical, so we'll see what happens. And we have the National Spirits, the Navajo Pathfinders, as well as the Navajo Coal and Gas Company, which we already saw. But the Brahmin Herders, uh, Wind Farm, Ooh, industry planning is nice. I do want to get to these civ civilian factories as Navajo Weaving. That one, I think, should be really, really good for us. But let's grab some improvised tools. And then grab some reference manuals. Motorized flight. And... Secret language? No, we want to go with this one. Rook is needed. That one's always good to do. And what else do we have around here? The Three Sisters is very good. Oh, we can send caravans to Sol Ol Rubrum. Oh, that's not bad. Carrying four bottle caps worth of goods to Castro uh, Rubrum, and we get 12 caps per quarter for quite a while. Okay, that's not too bad. For 275 days, uh, that's probably not too bad to do overall. We want more civilian... Oh, what is this? Some more political power. Night meetings? Less political power, more daily autonomy game. Meeting their needs, they get some stuff. We lose consumer goods, factories, construction speed, but we get more daily autonomy. I kind of don't mind that. Is there any way we can get more daily political power? Yes. Point one is not bad. Not great, but not bad. Non-core manpower is not too bad. Warmonger, I like that a lot. But let's continue with... To gain autonomy, but be, remain part of the Legion. Well, the reservation system. 50-day focus. So to the south lies the reservation, a mysterious community of ghouls in the remains of Los Alamos. We've cautiously engaged in trading with them, but perhaps we should take a new approach. Uh, that's not bad. Captain of Industry is not bad either. Homestead Defender. And we have 100 political power here. It's not bad. Caravan Guard is not bad. We're going to need a lot of defense on core territory. Quite a bit of it, actually. If we want to maybe fight the Legion. That's what we're going to have to definitely take. Uh, it's, how much do we get every day? 1.2. We might as well try. 1.34. 4. 1.14. Is it really worth it? It's going to take a while to actually make up for that, but since we'll probably play a longer campaign, we'll see. And we did get stability out of that, so it does help out a little bit more. So not too bad. We can heal Kaiza, though, which would be kind of cool. Meeting their needs. We could do that. Conscription drives to get more manpower. Fight for freedom. That's not bad. Reference banners are pretty good to grab. And up next, and eh, we can grab this one, why not? Secret language. And we will have to focus on a land auction, but after this, expanding demand. For some reason, Willem Clark has looked for additional slaves and other goods, although we are profiting handsomely. Just what is going on with the reservation? We get ten more things to scrap. Another shipment from the Navajo from the reservation. Not bad. The ghouls. Los Alamos should have been destroyed in the Great War, but a population of ghouls has survived there since the Great War. They control the surrounding landscape using the nuclear Nelly, an artillery device that can fire to 30 miles away and demand human resources from the surrounding humans in exchange for protection. They're also trading partners of the people, offering weapons and armor in exchange for jewelry, clothing, and raw materials they cannot find. Chief Hashka Naba has generally tolerated this trade since it reduces her reliance on the Legion, but there are those who would advocate trying to get forged closer ties and those who question why the people support a slave trade to begin with. Honestly, we've dealt with worse in our history. Not bad. Maybe we will go to war with them, just because we want a little bit of action, don't we? We love having a lot of action in our campaigns. Do we even have enough to take these guys out? Hmm. Do you have any upgrades? Yes. Rooted? Uh, we'll probably have to go rooted. We want as much entrenchment as possible. As much defense as possible. So. Uh, we don't have a lot of manpower either, so that's kind of concerning, at least to me. I will get more stability, but I would like to get to well equipped army as well, so we can produce as fast as possible. Because we're not bad so far. And the Three Sisters is not bad, too. Hmm. What are they doing with the slaves? Oh. Come in? now. Nah. I don't want to lower my stability. Actually, let's get the research done first. So after this one, 
Let's grab some construction speed, which would be good. And motorized flight is not bad. That's a little bit ahead of time. And land doctrine, um, I want to do asymmetric warfare, but I'm thinking we might go conventional warfare and get some trooper warfare. Uh, we are, you know, civilized, so it's not bad. I don't think we have any special bonuses, do we have any special bonuses here? No. I think trooper warfare would probably be best. Trusher speed. Uh, I do want to go with that. Western tactics are not bad, but we're not really using platoons or militia or enforcers. So, breakthrough is nice and all. Plus 8% is not bad. I, mean, I love that. Plus 100% uh, HP for the army is pretty darn good. But I think... I like this one. That's, this is not that weak. I mean, yeah, I use 10% recruitable population factor. Other than that, this, this is pretty strong. But I think we'll go with conventional warfare. We're going to need it. Okay, let's go ahead and do that as well. So we should have a few more factories. One more, but it helps us speed up our production, which is not bad. Uh, technology will be done in a few weeks, but after expanding the men, what are they doing with the slaves? Recognizing that much of the reservation is radioactive, it is still unclear why so many slaves go into Los and do not come out. Some of our scouts would like to investigate. Oh boy. Followed up with, no more reservations, honored to a new tribe. I want to do that one. I really want to get scientific infantry tech. Ooh, but having more a bigger population, more resources. How, what are the factors like? They have 1 out of 25, 10 out of 25. Oh, Settler Infantry Tech might be really good because we're only at the base level. But we do get free energy weapons. Basic energy weapons. So there is that. Uh, yeah, that would be nice. But it's not extremely necessary for that. I think... Because we just can't manually go to war until we liberate ourselves. So... Ooh, we're gonna need we're gonna need that manpower. We're gonna need it. We're gonna need every single man that we can find, and woman. I don't care. We're gonna throw everyone we can find on the on the on the border. Hmm. Land doctrine's coming along at least. That's good. We all need some saws. Yeah, we'll definitely get some saws. After that, uh, resource efficiency gain maybe. We could probably always use that, right? And these templates, not bad. It's actually pretty good. 18 combo with already with some demo teams. Pretty darn nice, I'd say. Pretty darn nice. Cool, and make sure we're making some of these too. Hang dogs, cool. The only way we're going to win a war against the Legion will be if the NCR does go to war with them at the same time, which might happen. I mean, like I said, we are on historical, so we'll see what happens. Uh, we're also using uh, CHS Tool Mod, Oral Blues, Oral Blues Radio, as well as a pedal of Peace Conferences. Pretty normal for us, but no more reservations. The people's experience really, really makes them concerned when scientists plan to remove riffraff and drugs from the land. We're going to make sure that this is the last reservation. The Chosen Ones, it seems. That the ghouls use slaves for more than just mining and industry. Our scout found an underground bunker and screams from a lab where the ghouls are trying to make natural ghouls. We have been selling humans as cattle to create a master race of ghouls. Mad science from the pre-war U.S. government? I'm shocked. Shocked, I tell you. Shocked. Well, maybe not that shocked. Mark Claw. Cool. You can become an observant leader. More reconnaissance, especially when entrenched. Might not be bad to have. Um, I would really want more defense. Yeah, I'm going to probably maximize defense. But infantry, you're, we're mostly going to be leading infantry. So attack and defense is pretty good to get as well. So, And a few more weeks. So after this one... Oh, peace coffee is nice. The fate of the reservation. we got to core things as fast as possible with the conquest of the reservation. The ghouls who oppress humans for no long will now serve as masters. Who oppress humans for so long will now serve, as new, serve new masters. That would be very, very good. Just so that we need so much more... Manpower. We need so much more. Really badly. And there goes Lanius. Uh, daily RXP gain. Conventional Warfare. I think we'll probably stay with that one. Yeah, let's, we're probably going to stay with that one. So let's go with that one. Just because getting mobile fortifications on our infantry will be really nice and strong for us. So that makes your defense very strong. And there goes Lanius. Lanius, I played as Lanius a score. And he's very strong early on. He's incredibly pretty easy to play. So he might actually be one of the best beginner nations to play in the entire, you know mod because he's just so flipping strong hey we're almost three though that's pretty nice we currently get to what 1.3 political power every day not bad i need to still play as a hand war band again sometime too warmonger yeah that'd be good war spoil gives more defense on core territory but this is going to open up all so much more territory for us to get attacked in uh, i want to go to world mesa Vader. at the bottom of the focus here you can go to war with them but only if you're like independent the dreams so we'll see but since we're going to go to war very soon anyways, we'll have to do another focus anyways. Alright, where are we at? Go do that ahead of time. And... 
Nice. Oh, wait. Maybe we should stop training then. Yeah. What if we just call in our allies and just use them and let them do everything we want them to? That might work. Could you guys just go in and help and just win? That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, just cut them off from their, the capital. I guess we have to do another focus. Alright, so... We'll, oh, wait. We can just lose one immediately. Okay, nice. Just cut them off from the capital for all these other divisions. Man, you take a while to do that, don't you? There you go. Now they should be suffering quite a bit more of them. Cool. We've lost three guys, which is 46. Not bad. Not bad. And circled. Very nice. We've lost eight versus 221. Not bad. Very good. And they've lost 248 now. Versus 16. Gallop, huh? Like a pole. Like a gallop. A pole. Thank you. Thank you. Well, at least we had a little bit of conflict in this episode. I always like to have at least a little bit of conflict in a war game like Hoi 4. Go figure. Who knew, right? Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, not bad. Now, this is a big old board we got to guard against. The Legion. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We will gladly take whatever he can give us. Go ahead and train. And go ahead and start putting these guys on there, even though we have enough army XP. We're going to make these guys... Too many to come with now. And just because we can, we're actually going to make them a little larger. But not really, since I want to just do that. Remove, please. Thank you. 20 combo with. Very nice. Very, very nice. And just in case. We'll core that stuff soon enough. I'm not super worried about that, but you can go and do that for now. And after this... Well, this has got a little bit more. The scouts... We really need to focus on our industry more. Hmm. Language. Gain a ton of but remain part of the Legion. We do get another research slot. So, are these mutually exclusive? It doesn't look like they are. I don't know. I will fight some more forever. Um, I want to get down here, though, as first. Oh, that research slot, though, is so incredibly strong. Let's do I will fight some more forever. The Navajo didn't survive the Comanche, 200 years of American oppression, a nuclear war, and the super mutant migration to bend the knee to Kaiser. We will bide our time and rise up. We're good. And God, we need to rise up. Just because we can't just fight because we are a puppet, a subject of someone else. Uh, no, it's so bad. We have no ports. Oh, so bad. All right, let's get some more stability then. As much as I want to do a lot more of this stuff, can we actually build more cities more, more quickly? Eh, 10% is not too bad. It, stability would be better overall. Do we have anything unique here? Navajo Smiths. All right, not bad. Infrastructure concern. Other than that, not really. Get more stability for now. Get some more goods. That's fine. As well as research speed goes down. That's okay. Hey, look at that. Now we got a little more manpower. Nice. Yeah, we're going to have to definitely raise up our... Oh, we're already on funding militias. we got to probably just go to four years, if not service and, service and Delta Smissile. Because fighting legion is going to take an extreme amount of effort. So, planning. Not bad. But well, let's record it. Less resistance, which is very, very nice. Hey, no divisions. Not too bad. Um, we need, we have some demo equipment, which we need to throw on our guys as well, which they already have, so that's pretty good, actually. Alright, up next, after this focus, I think we'll go with the Plains Sign Language to get the extra research slot as fast as possible, after we get this stuff done, too. Construction speed, thank you. It is almost 2276, so let's grab some more output, because we are going to need it. Plains Sign Language. There was a time... When American Indians communicated with a common sign language, understanding each other even if they could not speak with words. Now, we are among the last to know the old way. Good news for us, though. Double 50% bonus for encryption technology. Replace the Navajo Pathfinders with the Navajo Scouts to get 20% more encryption. Better special forces capacity multiplier and set you on a path to gain autonomy, but you'll remain part of the Legion. I mean, it. this really needs to be either or. Because uh, that's still open to us, so not bad. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, let's see, send a thing to receive 28 caps. Oh, yes. Or North Phoenix. Let's go to Twin Mothers for now. Not bad. Begin a scavenging program? We could do that. Oh, we can do this stuff too. I don't want to hurt ourselves too much though. Yeah, we need more autonomy, but maybe we could just like give them stuff? Request Lend Lease, of course. Oh, yeah. Hmm. 
1009, is it going up or down? No, it's not really going up or down at all, which is kind of okay with me right now. If you like to read about the followers of the apocalypse, please go right ahead, but we're going to let them come in anyways. And up next, physician or support. Uh, build up, build, 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 build. We want to build these civvies as fast as possible. More civvies so we can build a bigger industry. Plain, plain sign language. And after that one, we should probably go with the oldest college in the wastes. The Dine Col College is one of the only institutes of higher learning to survive the Great War. Offering students a Hogan, a Hogan away from Hogan. Perhaps it's time to expand opportunities at the school to others in the wasteland. That'll be very nice to get another research slot, because four is pretty good, but five is very bueno. Maybe we should research at least one ship so we can get rid of this. But then again, we have no ports, but we do have a dockyard. Huh. I don't want to waste time trying to build a port up either, so it'll be what it'll be. The Great... Oh, that's not bad. The Great Ladder. After this... Uh, production. Stability goes down. Increase Navajo resistance, Navajo scouts. I definitely want Navajo weaving. Path to gain autonomy, but you'll remain part of the Legion. Huh. You know what? Maybe we'll get an opinion modifier with all the other ones. That seems kind of like fun. Actually, how, how fast can we get these? One of the following? So we only need to do one of these. We get some money. Agriculture is not bad. We're usually going to use it anyway, so. The Brahmin herds. The people have a saying, the herd is life. Sheep, Brahmin, and goats feed and clothe their people. The prosperity we have earned under the Legion has let us develop our techniques even further and adapt to feed a larger market. Not bad. Not bad at all. And we've got about two weeks left, which is totally fine. And about three weeks left for technology. We have still nine divisions. Come on, guys. Can we make some more? What are we missing? Infantry equipment. Urgh. Oh man, this is this limits us so much. Can we build any faster? Or any more major businesses? Maybe we'll wait for the stuff like up there. Uh, just for World Goes Times, I'll do that one eventually. The followers establish themselves. If you like to read about that, please go right ahead. Let's go with the Brahmin herds. Fifth research slot. Now that's pretty nice. What do we want here? Economic advisors, trade laws, economy laws, and eh, that's kind of okay already. Infrastructure actually would be really nice. Yeah, I'll probably go with that one. Captain of industry. Even faster, 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 faster. This is Alpha Le Patron. <laughs> Smoky signals, not bad. Let's grab some of that. Decode signals, and then maybe get some uh, encoded signals, not bad. After local workspaces, can we jump over here? Yeah, we can. That's good. That'll be good. We'll probably grab clay working next because construction speed is going to be key, 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 key to what we need to get as much of an industry so we can build lots and lots of forts because we're going to need a lot of forts. And we actually have a radar over here. That's pretty nice. We might end up fighting Lanius. I kind of doubt it, but then again, he will, might be up there. So we'll see what happens. We'll definitely see. There are no guarantees with this campaign. Help out sediment sale. That'll be so nice. Another civvy workshop for 50 PP. Not bad. Conscription drives. No, I'm not, we can't afford to lose any manpower. Um, hmm. I don't mind doing this one though. Night means a loose political power for more daily autonomy. That's not bad. All right, let's grab field fortifications for more entrenchment. It's not much, but it'll do. Uh, let's see. Base biplane fighters might as well since we are trying to build up a few more planes. Let's see if we can train a few planes right now. Encoder signals, very good. Vacuum tubes. Let's grab some more division training time. Thank you. And let's pop up to 50. Not 150 for now. Usually like doing that, but train. Maybe we get a little bit more air XP. We don't have a lot of army XP either right now. Hmm. Infantry equipment is such a pain. I'm about to get the Bra Brahmin hide. And let's get Navajo weaving. We've been weaving cotton for almost a thousand years, and her clothes up are worn across the wasteland. Even Kaiser can find no better cloth. Oh, we get two more civvies, which is very, very good. Plenty of demo companies. We actually have a few support companies, which we'll probably use chem companies on our divisions because we'll probably need them. So let's get a bonus for medical tech. Technology. Research speed would be nice. We don't need, do we need more water? I don't think we need any more water for right now, do we? No, we got more than enough water. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. We need to raise our autonomy somehow. Focus on the internal sphere. Eh. You can probably close that one out. War propaganda is pretty good, but we don't need this one. Drastic measures never worth it. Hopefully that gets fixed someday. Not fixed, but reworked or looked at again. All right, cowboy country. We could join the war, and they might give us more supplies, which actually would be pretty darn beneficial. Well, they didn't say no. Fly boys, so we can make some more divisions. Probably infrastructure would be incredibly important to make. 
We will need a homestead defender actually probably for this campaign. For now though, war support would be good. Population factor not quite. War support, oh, that stuff is good. Ah, I get this one. It's gonna produce 10% faster. It's not much, but we'll do it anyways. The best tribe in the Legion. Open uranium mines, servants for the people. The market economy, arm shipments. Legion Principes, which would be very nice actually. Princeps, I mean. To the Colorado, tribal medicine. Okay, not bad. A history of... Oh, you get more population and defense on core territory. Which is pretty nice. But let's go with Hogan is where the heart is. Hogan's were traditional Navajo dwellings and have come to refer to all Navajo homes. We can use the profits from our trade to refurbish and renovate homes for our people. Which is very good. Now, can we require lend lease? It lowers our autonomy, but I'd prefer to have weaponry. We get nine machetes once. Which is not bad. Because we got to make sure we have a big old stockpile of that stuff too, so. Cool. Oh! Oh, crap. We... Oh, boy. Well, let's make sure we give this to these guys since we don't deserve it, any of it. There you go, Legion. Good job, guys. Good job. We are... Oh, well. Uh, events Master? Well, why is it going down? Oh, boy. We might have to spend some people to raise our autonomy up some more. Hmm. Contributed war score. Do they have... They might have a little modifier for themselves to lower our autonomy. So we will have to fight back against that. Hmm. Cult of Mars, Survivors, Chariots. No, I'm not seeing anything here. Navajo, maybe they're building in us. That's probably it. They're building in our territories. That's probably what's going on. I'm 15, oh, look at that. They, they probably are. Hogan is where the heart is. That's good. Um, the Hopi Car Mines. Let's see, remember when they called us tribals. The Navajo are not unique to survive the Great War relatively unscathed. The Yakima hold on in eastern Washington. The Winta can command lands of eastern Utah. And while we don't talk about the Cherokee, each one is a different people, but we each recognizes that it wasn't their ancestors who dropped the bomb. Kaboom. Uh, at this point, let's go ahead and... We're not doing a lot with our PP anyways. Night meetings. It's only minus 5%. That's, look at that. That's not bad. So now, how does that affect us here? So we're at 905, so hopefully we get some more autonomy right now. Uh, war training is nice. Coordinated assaults. So that would be very, very good. And... Basic weaponry. Let's grab some crowd control gears, because we can. Nice. Anything else here? Construction. We grab that, because we can. Hopefully they'll slow down their bonuses. Country, not bad. It's 906. It looks like it's pretty much... Oh, we're slowly getting more points now. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Yeah, that's not bad. 15-5, that's not too bad. And we're going to need a bigger military operation. It's unfortunate. Quite unfortunate. And that'll be done soon enough. So, After plant cultivation, it's still 2276. Uh, we'll probably grab standardized tools. Now I'll grab some research speed. That's always good to grab more research speed, so. Trade with the Utes. Navajo scouts. Well, we're gonna do the best drive in the Legion. Critics would ask, what, apart from the roads and irrigation and public order, has Kaiser's Legion done for us? But, better to run with the wolves than be a sheep. Hmm. Yeah, it could be. Just looking for love. Oh, boy. That's kind of cool. And where are we with this? No days left. Good. So we get some sort of modifier here, right? So in a caravan, let's see. Oh, 38 to North Phoenix would be nice. 108. If as long as it goes up past that, that'd be really good. You're meeting their needs. I don't want to hurt consumer goods or construction speed. Either we're doing pretty darn well already. Where are we at? 915. It's not bad. Man, we can research so quickly, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. We're gonna need some anti tank probably eventually. 916. Hmm. I'm going to grab this one guy already. And then the next one we'll do, we'll probably do meeting their needs. Because I'm not going to give up manpower. There's no way I'm going to give up our manpower. Yeah, we get uh, 125 autonomy is really nice, but that'll be okay. For 10 political power for more medical tech, that's not bad. 
Well, I'll save it. And we have two weeks left, which means we'll get this one done first. After part standardization, it's almost time to grab more cap and output. Probably construction speed. We still just want to build, 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 build. As much as possible, of course. And. Nice. Cool. Way of the Canaanites, the Great Ladder. Uh, opening the uranium mine. Path to gain autonomy, but you'll remain part of the Legion. Well, we'll see. So we did all this stuff over here. Let's see the truth. Intus. I like this stuff. This looks really good. Basic energy weapons would be nice. That would be very good to have as well. <sighs> Service for the people. Indentured servitude. Well, I guess we do that one first. Like it or not, slavery is a cornerstone of much of the wasteland, although we will treat our servants with compassion. Why shouldn't we do unto others as they have done unto us? And we'll maybe do one more focus before we end this episode. We do need some special forces too. Do we have any special forces? Oh, no, we have no special forces. Oh, we do have 11 divisions though. That's not bad. And... Got some of that. There you go. Not bad. Uh, let's see. Autonomy is 922. Not bad. Is it going up at all? Not really. Overlord lend, lend leasing to subject. Well, it's not going down, which is not bad, but... Not great. Meeting their needs. Go and do that once. It's fine. It hurts us a little bit, but honestly, 15 and 8 still, that's still pretty darn good. That is still pretty darn good, so. We got lots of water here. Who needs a Colorado River when you got so much water already? And 14 days, two, two weeks left for that. So after this one, we'll probably do market economy. Yeah, I want to get some more civvies for now. The market economy. The Legion's unification of the American Southwest has opened new business opportunities for us. There was a time when every hill would have raiders behind it, but wherever the banner of the bull flies, our people are, secu are secure and honored, which is very, very good. And we'll grab what next? Trump and attackers. We'll grab some of that, maybe. Cool. And we shall end the episode here. Try and get some more civilian factories. But let's create an agency. So, do you think the Cabal is a good name for us? Let me know in the comments below if you would like to come up with another unique name that would be very fitting for the Navajo Nation. Regardless, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we shall continue to explore to see what the Navajo Nation has to offer, and maybe we'll end up in a very extremely huge conflict against the Legion. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.